Hi, everybody. TV3 meteorologist Bill Vesey here. Let's start with a look at some pictures from the Bob Hall Pier. It was a month ago today that Hurricane Hannah made landfall. And I want to show you what's going on, the difference between then and today. And <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, there's not a, not a lot of difference. And uh, I was reading today where the county's trying to get out there and start some cleanup. But uh, scenarios over the next couple of days, but um, now we have another hurricane in the Gulf that could not going to well, it's going to cause some coastal issues, some flooding issues. So we'll see how all this works out. But there you go, the side by side of a month ago and today. Now, also three years ago today, Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Harvey on August twenty fifth, two thousand seventeen, was the last major hurricane to hit Texas. And now that could change in about a day and a half because we have a storm out in the Gulf that looks like it is going to be a major hurricane hitting Texas. It's going to be a close call right on the Louisiana border, but we're talking about Hurricane Laura out there in the Gulf of Mexico. And there it is. And Hurricane Laura continues to gain strength in the Gulf. It's really getting big right now. You can see the top part is really starting to take a look at Looks like that uh, classic hurricane outline there. And again, we're about, it's going to be about 300 miles away from here. Look at the water temperatures, 85, 86, 87 out there. Wind speeds right now, 80 miles per hour. And tomorrow afternoon, this might be around 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, Laura, on its way to the Texas-Louisiana border, will be about between 250, 300 miles away from us. And that looks like the closest it will get. Again, we'll outline the coastal flood issues we'll be dealing with. But we've been talking about this now for several days. Landfall looks like it will be indeed a major hurricane at landfall, maybe a little bit on this side of the Texas-Louisiana border near Port Arthur, Orange, that area up there. 115-mile-per-hour winds at uh, just past midnight tomorrow night into Thursday morning. It's going to be a big mess up there. We mentioned at the top of the show that this could be the, the worst storm surge issue we've had in the country since Superstorm Sandy on the East Coast. Now, for us, Coastal Flood Advisory, we have a high tide around 1230 tomorrow morning at Bob Hall and 1 o'clock at, at Port A. But big waves in the Gulf this week. Rip currents will be dangerous. Driving conditions on the beach poor. Some roads on the beach impassable. High water levels on low-lying roads. I'm talking about Laguna Shores like that. And protect, if you have flood-prone property, uh, be prepared to protect it. There you go. As far as rainfall, we are now looking at less than a half inch of rain for us here along the coast of Bend. And the rain chances over the next seven days, we'll get some isolated tropical showers, but I don't see anything significant in the forecast. KTRIPLITV.com slash weather. Click on Hurricane Central. Looks like we'll catch a break after Laura makes landfall. Live picture from the LexCam, 95 right now. The high today has been 96. We have a gentle breeze out of the southeast. Partly cloudy, hot, and humid tomorrow. An isolated shower. Look at the feel-like temperature getting back into the danger zone. So please be careful with those feel-like temperatures tomorrow. Small craft advisory for the Gulf tomorrow. Sun up 706. Again, a high tide, 1 o'clock in the morning. And the seven-day forecast, we'll do another Facebook Live tonight on the Channel 3 page. That'll be at 845, Facebook Live tonight, Rudy. I'll see you at 6. You got to build.